Today I have Yara with me. She has a driving test just after 45 minutes. So before the driving test, I'm going to give her one mock test. In the mock test, I'm going to show her the testing area and then we're going to go for the driving test. Please watch this video till the end. You're going to get all the information and major mistake and critical mistakes about your driving test and you can pass your driving test in a first go. So Yara, do you have a bit experience in driving or you're yeah. driving for a long time? I've been driving for a while, yes. Okay. So you're driving in Australia for a long time? Yes, but not, not in this area. Not in this area. So no. I will show you this area and uh, you will be very easy, you will feel very comfortable in the driving test because you're going to know all the most difficult area where most common mistake student they do in their driving test and they fail their driving test. So I'm going to show the uh, all the area, all the points where most common mistakes student they do. Okay. So before driving test, do you have any question, anything? No. 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 So do you know uh, the about the driving test? Uh, how is your driving test is going to be? How many minutes is going to be? Um, and how many mistakes are allowed in the driving test? Um, I know it's 30 minutes. 30 right. minutes, yeah. And then there's two parts. Two parts, very good. One is 10 minutes, one is 20 minutes. 20 minutes, yeah. And, yep. and the first uh, part, what are they going to say to you? The indicator. Having yes, the... first of all, uh, before starting your driving test will be pre-driving safety check. Yeah. Pre-driving safety check means they're going to ask you the basic function of the car and the second uh, they're going to take you a little bit residential area they're going to say to you do a three point turn reverse parallel parking and pull lever okay. do you know all these three things three point turn reverse parallel parking and pull lever and the pre-drive about the pre-driving safety check. yeah what's the other one i know reverse parking Three point and what's the pull thing? lever. I don't know. Pull lever is very easy, very simple task. You just need to stop your car just side of the road. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, pull over, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull lever, yeah. yeah. And in the second stage, they're going to take you a little bit busier roads, like uh, main road, side road, okay. for a line changing, for roundabout. Uh, so that's how your test is going to be. Okay. In the old driving test, there is a two major mistakes are allowed. In the first stage, only one major mistake is allowed. Okay, and old Ravi test, two major mistakes are allowed and minor could be 10 to 15. Okay, okay let's start Perfect. with pre-driving safety check. So yeah. left indicator please. Right indicator, indicator off, show me headlight please. Headlight. Sure on One more time, yes, very good. So keep, make sure if they say to you headlight, you need to turn your indicator two time and you need to keep it on. Oh, okay. Don't switch off. Until they tell you to. Yes. Okay. In the driving test, you need to keep it on. Okay. So headlight on, please. High beam, please. High beam, just push toward your feet. Okay. That blue sign, high, high beam off. Yes. Washroom wiper. Washroom wiper, just pull toward you. Oh. Very good. Show me friend demister. Mm. So this is the friend demister. Oh, okay. Show me back demister. Do I click it or no? I'll just show you. This is back demister. So in the driving test, if they ask you about demisters, you don't need to press it. You okay. just need to show, show with your finger. Okay. So show me friend demister, please. Back demister, please. Has a light, please. This is the has a light. Handbrake, please. This is the handbrake. Yeah, that one is handbrake. You in in this car in the handbrake, you don't need to do anything. It will be automatically on and off. Okay. Most of the car they have the stick one, yeah. but in this this is hybrid car. This car don't have a stick one. This is this this car has an electronic handbrake. Okay. So it will be automatically on and off. Okay. Okay. Show me brake please, horn please. Okay. So now do you know the basic function very well? Yes. No problem. So when you feel safe, when you're ready, take a quick road exit, please. Are you com feel comfortable with mirror, seat, yeah. everything? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Make sure before starting your driving test, adjust your seat and mirror properly. Because if you're going to be comfortable, then you're going to drive comfortably in the driving test. Yeah. And where's the exit? Yeah, exit is only just right hand side. going 
to take next class very nice take the next left give your left indicator very nice when you taking a broad meadows wick road exit there is a four indicators you need to give okay if the indicator get off make sure give it again oh, okay so next traffic light turn left shoulder check make sure oh. because when you taking a wick road exit and when you turning left there is a bike line you must need to do left shoulder check whenever you crossing your bike line and make sure when you driving keep looking your middle mirror middle mirror is very important they going to mark you and especially whenever you pressing your brake so you need whenever you pressing your brake you need to check your mirror then brake mirror okay. brake yeah is it 50 year uh, this road the speed limit is 60 60 if there is a traffic on the road road is very congested road is very narrow and there is a traffic on the road you don't need to worry just follow whatever according to road situation according to road uh, condition we don't need to follow the speed limit okay. if the road is very clear then you need to follow the speed okay. even when the road is clear then still you can drive nine less nine less minimum you can uh, maximum you can drive nine less okay. but don't drive 10 less if the road is very clear we're going to be I'm driving around the school area yes i'm going to take your school area and uh, the main point where most most of the student they make a mistake and they fail their driving test so you not going to make mistake in your driving test you going to be aware where the most people they make mistake so we going to turn left so in the driving test in any instruction if you don't understand you can say to the examiner can you repeat again please okay. so they will repeat for you and uh, i am your instructor i will also repeat for you and point for you also it will be very easy for you to focus on the road okay because there going to be three time instruction is going to be repeat one time examiner is going to repeat uh, say to you then second time i am going to repeat for you and the third time i am going to point with my hand also all right turn right right very good well done very good turn end of the straight turn left make sure whenever you turning left and right turn very carefully if you turning left keep your car close to the curb so okay. in the first 10 minute first part they mark the position okay turn right how you turn how you turn your car where you stop so make sure it's very important when you turning make your position very nice okay turn left and check keep checking whenever you especially when make sure whenever you turning keep check your middle mirror regularly okay. especially in the turning points 5 to 6 time because you slow down you slow, slow down more you slow down more make sure when you checking turn right i can see you are checking but i'm not able to observe you you are watching so make sure so satisfy to lto officer turn left move move your little bit your head move your little bit head so they can see you you are watching yeah. sometime many student they get a, too many nose and they fail their driving test they watching because they are aware what is happening yeah. but the examiner is not able to see they watching or oh, not okay. so, so will he be able to see my eyes yes yes from here afraid. do a three point turn please very good so this is we go we doing cup to cup three point turn 
very good very good. well done you can go Even close more. to the curb also you can touch the curb also no problem in a three point turn and reverse parallel parking if you will if you touch any wheel uh, one tire there is no problem oh, okay. many student they they scare if they will touch it they will make, make sure stop oh. the most important point whenever you reverse you need to look back okay while i'm reversing when you reverse just one time first check in the middle mirror yeah and then second just look like this okay okay and also can i look at the after that you can look yeah. at the camera okay. so check like this very good well done so this three point turn you did very good so curb to curb three point turn always going to be two indicators first will be left indicator you need to pull over left hand side and the second will be right indicator you need to go close to the curb and then reverse and then back okay now we going to do reverse parallel but do a reverse parallel parking behind this black car here is a driveway but you don't need to worry we just practicing yeah. very good well done very good uh, start for uh, reverse parallel parking and where is the best way to look like uh, yeah look i will tell you once you stop once you touch this red line to the curb yeah. then stop your car go a little bit forward because you you went a little bit back so once you this red line touch to the curb can you see yeah this is the gutter line yeah. and this is the curb uh-huh. curb is coming here yeah so then full right till now very good well done so this is called parallel reverse parking you did very good only thing you was not sure when to stop okay. so you know now when to stop when the red line hits the curb hits the curb okay yep yeah so keep going straight please when you feel safe so reverse parallel parking you did very good so whenever you do give your left indicator stop your car parallel to the car just one or two meter away make sure right shoulder side whenever you leaving your parking most common mistake student they do turn left they forget to do shoulder Sorry, check sir. and indicator okay. after after reverse parallel parking when you restart again when you go back to road again will be right indicator right shoulder check okay so now we going to do pull lever so pull lever please when you feel safe very good well done so in the first 10 minute do you have doubt anything that's exact your first 10 minute is going to be and it's going to be one of the three either parallel park or yes yes they uh, we did all of them we did three point turn we did reverse parallel parking and we did pull lever okay they going to they can ask in a three point turn and reverse parallel parking they going to ask one thing okay yeah okay but if we going in a driving test we must need to know all three things very well okay three point turn reverse parallel because they can say anything okay. so keep going straight please when you feel safe very good well done now i can see you checking the mirror so next straight turn left
if they don't say anything, I just keep going. Yes, very good. In the driving test, if examiner they don't say to you anything, keep going straight. Okay. No need to worry about anything. You don't need to turn anything, uh, 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 anything uh, yourself. You just need to follow their in instruction. Only you need to turn in the some situation. Like uh, there is an accident on the road, there is a line is merge, merging. So this type of the situation, you need to do it yourself. Except of that, you don't need to do anything yourself. You just need to follow the road. So we're going to turn left, please. Oh, oopsie. Sorry, I said no need to worry. So keep going straight. So this roundabout, we're going to do U-turn, please. And this is very big roundabout in the broad meadows testing area. And many students they fail their driving test. There is U-turn, you must need to give right indicator. Oh yeah. Make sure whenever you're making a U-turn or you're turning a right, you need to give your right indicator. So in this roundabout, many what many students they make a mistake when they come in the roundabout, they forget where is exit, and they go in a wrong exit. Oh yeah. And then they bring back to again exit and they do mistake. Okay. Should I? I just put the left indicator. Turn right? right. When you exit, you turn right. It's better to give a left indicator whenever you exit in a roundabout. But if you miss. When you when you exiting any indicator, there is a no problem also because okay. it's not compulsory. Okay. It's recommended, but it's not compulsory. Okay. Here it's 15. Yeah, like this is the factory area. Factory area. How you can guess this is the factory area or industrial area? Look, there go the boats. The road is going to a little bit wider, and the boat side there are going to be factories. Entrance. So do do a U turn, please. U turn. Give left indicator. So this type of the U turn. If you see, give left indicator like this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Very good. Right forward. If the road is wider, so you can do U turn just on the road. Okay. So there will be two indicator. <clears throat> the first indicator will be pull lever, and the second indicator, right indicator, and just turn around. End of the straight turn right. Make sure keep checking your mirror whenever you give your indicator, whenever you press brake, whenever you slow down. So especially when you're turning, check five six times. So we're going to take next left again. Left shoulder check. Well, well done. So always whenever you cross your bike line, you must need to do left shoulder check. And here the speed limit is 40, but you are driving on 50. 50 is after that sign. Oh, Take okay. the next left. Make sure in the driving test, over speeding is zero tolerance. But the, how would I know? How did I know that it's 40? Yeah, that it's day 40. Yeah, it, it the, just in the corner there oh. was a 40 sign oh, yeah, because yeah. you was busy in a turnings and you missed this sign. Oh, okay. Because some turning, some driving test roads there is a hidden sign. So how you can find the hidden signs whenever you turn start to look for the speed limit. Right. Turn left. So yeah. Very good. Well done. Very good stop on the stop sign. Turn right stop means go to complete stop. Yeah. Like you restarting your car again. Turn right. And then wait for three seconds, and then, then if you feel safe, then go. End 
end of the street turn left very good well done this is also a very good stop on the stop sign you went to complete stop three second very nice and can you see this white concrete on the speed uh, speed humps yeah what is this uh, this is also a pedestrian crossing oh, okay, okay. anywhere you see a white line on the speed humps if anyone is standing left and right you must need to give way okay. so we're going to turn right please Now we entering to side road to main road. Very good. When you entering to side road, it's a little bit challenging if there is a traffic. So that time, no need to rush. Just give your indicator. Doesn't man doesn't matter how long it take. Many students they do rush and they fail their driving test and fail to give way. this roundabout you did a major mistake uh, this roundabout you did you choose a safe gap very good very nice but when you going from a roundabout you don't need to make a decision just looking the corner and just going straight you need to see the end of the street and then you need to go because maybe someone is coming from the back side too fast and they can hit you and the examiner is not able to see you are you did you check it or you haven't check it so make sure so the speed limit is 40 here so many student they make a it's a critical error critical and major miss because no observation turn right so this type of the mistake we cannot we we, we can save ourselves to fail our drawing test because this is very very easy to fix it whenever you going from the roundabout always turn your head left and right okay. turn left follow this road look this road you don't need to make a circle and you just okay. need to go like that okay. it's just a bending what time is your driving test, Lara? 8.35. 8.35. Take a next left. So next straight turn right into right line. We going again the side road to main road. It will be a little bit challenging, but you don't need to rush. First, there is a stop sign. You must need to stop for three seconds. So we're going to turn right into right line. If someone is coming in the far left line, you don't need to worry. Okay. Very good. Well done. Very good. A safe gap selection. So I can still come here even if there's someone on the back. Yes. Turn right. Very good. Well done. Many students, when they examine it, they say to them, turn right. And they start to turn right from this traffic light. But there is a no right here. Oh, oh, yeah. Many students they make a mistake here. Oh, yeah. They give their right indicator and they start to go <laughs> here. So, but the right is after the traffic light. Okay. Turn right. Now we're going to main road to side road. When you're going from main road to side road, also you just need to keep a little bit more patience and a little bit challenging also but you don't need to rush
any student they struggle when they going from main road to side road side road to main road because they not able to judge the gap next straight turn left very good well done next straight turn left turn left into right line please are we going again side road to main road give you a left hand very good. well done so next traffic light we going to turn right please so do you know about give way traffic light Sure. So this is the giveaway traffic light. So and we need to turn right. Look in this traffic light, there is no arrow. Oh uh, yes, I have to go like in the middle. Yes, yes, you have to go in the middle, and you need to give way to the all the upcoming vehicles. Oh, yes. Any upcoming vehicle is going straight or turning left, you need to give way to them. Yeah. very good so keep waiting here no need to rush anything doesn't matter how long it take some student they try to rush and they they go very quickly and they fail their driving test anything in the driving test don't rush but when you see opportunity don't miss also so many student they even they, they saw a proper safe gap but still they waiting without any reason left hand side there is a very big bike line and a parking line U-turn into right line. Very good. Well done. Any time in this type of the road, if they say to you U-turn, uh, if if there is a, any medium strip, middle of the road, there is a, anything is just there is a space. You can stop in that space and you can give way to the second half. And once you feel safe, then you can go. So we're going to turn right. So there is a little bit medium strip here. Can you see? Oh, yeah. Yes. Very good. So sometimes they say right here, and many students they make a mistake here oh, okay. because uh, um, so, because right. middle of the uh, you can go right. Sure. Yes. This that is U turn. Straight is there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And make sure be in your line. You're driving in the wrong line. 
so always a turn left turn right very good well done so you feel confident in a three point and a reverse parallel parking Can I try one more? Yes, do a parking. reverse parallel parking, please, behind this car. Very good. Very good. Well done. very nice very good yes. well done very good uh, parallel reverse parking so keep going straight please when you feel safe right. so now and you are confident about three point turn also yeah we'll do it three point turn please Okay. Yeah, very good. Well done. You did very nice. So when you feel safe, when you're ready, pull lever, please. Very good. Well done. So you did three things very well. Three point turn. You're doing very confidently. reverse parallel parking you did very confidently and pull lever you did very confidently also so if you doing three things that means it's very easy for you to pass your driving test oh, yeah. yeah and if you are in a good in line changing also then then no one can stop you to get your license okay Thank very you. good so keep going straight please when you feel safe So we're going to take next left again, please. end of the straight turn right take a next right this type of the turning right many student they make a mistake they just go in a one way Okay. If the road, if the view is blocking. If the view is blocking, you can go slowly. Oh, yeah. You don't need to go in a one go like this. Okay. You can come in that the parking line. Yeah. You can stop front of the car. Still, the view is blocking. Go a little bit more forward. 
go a little bit more forward now the little view is clear then you can go in the middle okay okay that's how you can act in this type of the situation and you can stop in this island once you see a safe then you can turn so many student because the view is not clear and they just go and and they fail their driving test and fail to give it if the view is not clear you can you can cross the line okay. and you can stop after the line also so next traffic light we going to turn right into right line this traffic light as you can see it's a give way traffic light but this is the intersection traffic light because no one is going to come from the straight mm -hmm. side so when the light will be green then you can go if if someone can come from the straight you need to give way to the all the vehicles and then you can go Where are you living, Lara? Carnegie. Carnegie. You know where that is? Yeah, yeah, I yeah. know Carnegie, Bentley. Yeah. yeah. Living just close to that. Yeah. yeah. Do you take? Do you do lessons over there or no? Actually, I do in this area, like in Broad Meadows, Freya, Kullu, Deer Park, Bandura. Yeah. When you feel safe, when you ready, move to left line. Make sure line changing. Also, you need to do shoulder check. Okay. Which one first? Like, what's the order? First, the order is first. You need to first you need to give your indicator. Yeah. And then you need first. Then you need to check, first you need to check your mirrors. Then you need to give your indicator. And then before moving, you need to do shoulder check. Okay. Move to right line, please. And you should say first mirrors, indicator, shoulder. Uh, yes. When you feel safe, shoulder check and go like that. This is the order mirror indicator shoulder check, like a clockwise. And but still, if you're not able to follow the orders, like uh, you giving your in, you you checking your mirror first and then you giving your indicator, or you giving indicator first and then you checking mirror, there is a no problem. Okay. And by mirror, do you mean both mirrors or just both mirrors? Yes. Both mirrors. Whichever whichever side you going, whichever line you going, you need to always check two mirrors. Okay. middle mirror left or right mirror if you going left hand side left side mirror if you going right hand side middle mirror and right mirror right side mirror so next traffic light turn left please so if exam in this type of the situation if examiner they say to you next traffic light turn left start to move left line because sometime they want to test you they want to check you turn left how you going to react on the traffic so make sure just move to left line and because left line will go left so this is the most critical point and many student fail here first mistake they do they stop on the pedestrian crossing and the second mistake student they do they for they forget to check the straight side mm. they only look the right hand side but they they miss the straight side so make sure keep eyes right hand side and the straight side also maybe light can be green for the straight people mm -hmm. and sometime could be green for the right so we need to keep eye everywhere lots of time very hard to find a safe gap this type of the right but when the light will be red for them you will have a opportunity to go this type of the easier road when you turning okay. uh, when you turn it is very hard to find a safe gap just keep waiting if you find a proper safe gap then go if you don't find a safe proper safe gap the light will be red and then you will get a safe gap so when you feel safe when you ready move to right line please
it okay if I take my time like that? Yes, yes. Life changing. Many students they do mistake and they fail their driving test. They think if they have given their any instruction to them, they need to follow the immediately. Uh -huh. You don't need to follow immediately. You need to do only whatever they say to you. Only when you feel safe. Only when you feel safe. Move to left line, please. When you feel safe. Can you see this speed sign? Yes. Make sure see a big picture of the road because now you're doing over speeding and the in over speeding in the driving test is zero tolerance. Zero tolerance. Suppose for example, if you if your speed is 60 and you're driving 61 more than five seconds, they can it's immediate termination. Five seconds. Five seconds. But if your speed is the, like 60 to go to 65, immediate termination, not even 5 seconds. Oh. If it's 5 less, 5 seconds. If, if more than 5, stay immediate. Go to right line, please, when you feel safe. Very good, well done. Sometimes this type of, <laughs> this type of the road, they say to you, move to right line. So you don't need to rush, someone will give you give way, keep your indicator on and you automatically and there will be high probability to get a safe gap. Okay. But many students they think if they, uh, they, they will, they giving their indicator so people they will give way to them. No. Okay, yeah. It's their choice, they will give you give way or they will not give you give way. Okay. But your duty to just your indicator to show to your tester you trying okay. you try the only going to see the only going to see you are trying or you not trying okay. in that trying if you will get it it's good luck if you don't get it no problem okay. whatever you do only you need to try you need to show attention to the examiner you are doing it but it's not safe Always, when you're driving on the road, you need to keep it three second gap. Many accident happening on the road just because of people they driving bumper to bumper. Mm. And suppose, for example, and many people they don't check this mirror, okay. and they press the sudden brake and they hit the car. So always make sure when you're driving on the road, keep it three second gap. Keep it a little bit gap always, space according to the speed limit. Okay. So if you are going to keep it gap, if that person will press a brake, you will have enough time to stop your car. Mm. If you are going to keep it very close to the car, maybe you are driving, but one day you are going to get an accident. Mm. So always keep it distant like this. Because this is a truck, so keep it a little bit more extra space. So next traffic light, we're going to turn right from left line, please. Very good, well done. So that's how your driving test is going to be. So this is the note they give by traffic light as you can see there is an arrow. When the arrow will be green you can go. This is a uh, note give by normal traffic light. Next traffic light, turn left into left line. Okay. 
take your next left. So left into Wick Road. The examiner is going to say to you, take your next left into Wick Road. Yeah. So turn right. And just park your car anywhere, wherever you feel safe. Does this count as a test, like in the test, like parking the car? Yes. Yeah. Oh, it counts? Yeah, it's count. Like Once your test will finish, yes, you need to park anywhere. This is 90 degree parking. Um, okay, you don't need so to do reverse way parking. Okay, so just, you, just straight and... parking. Okay. You don't need to do reverse way parking. And once your test finish, if you park just outside the line also, there is no problem. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. They don't mark. Okay, okay. They don't mark. But try to park as close you can. But if you go a little bit outside the lines, they don't mark. This is so bad. This one. Yes, that's fine. No problem. So just finish parking, parking. So if you park a little bit outside the lines, no need to worry. Just park in parking. If, if this happens, shall I go back and do it again or no? You can do like this. Okay. If you park outside the line also, there is no problem. Okay. So, so like this is fine. This is fine. Yeah. Okay. So in the driving test, always just be careful about the curves. Don't hit the curb. Okay. Don't touch the curbs. Only you can touch in a three-point turn and reverse parallel parking. Okay. Okay. Except okay. of that, you cannot touch anywhere. Okay. Sounds good. So do you have any doubt, anything about anything? I think I'm okay. You're okay. No problem. Make sure in the driving test, if you don't understand anything, ask again. Okay. So I, uh, I will repeat for you also. And the examiner is going to repeat for you also. Okay. okay. And uh, make sure if in the driving test, if you don't feel safe, don't do it anything. Okay. If suppose they say to you turn left or right, don't think you 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 waiting for a long time. Doesn't matter how long time. it takes. Just okay. wait, take your time. Okay. And the third thing is keep checking your mirror, middle mirror, okay. openly. Okay. Openly. I, or if I do this, they can see. Yeah. Like is yeah, that enough good. or do I have to move my hand? Try to move your head a little bit, I will bit. say to you. Okay. Because sometimes when you're checking with your eyes, they're not able to read our eyes. Okay. 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 So this is the thing. So now, uh, so thank you so much for watching this video. If you still have any question, anything about your driving test, so please don't forget to uh, to write a comment in the comment section and I will reply you very soon. So bye for now. We'll see you very soon with the next video. Thank you. Thank you.